Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here again from GuitarJams.com. Happy to be here hanging out with you guys again. Got an acoustic tune for you. One bar chord is what you're going to need. Uh, if you're still struggling f with your rhythm guitar, your beginner struggling, I have a rhythm series down there. It's totally free, not on YouTube. Click the link down there. Check out that rhythm thing. It should help you if you're struggling. But otherwise, let's zoom in, and I'll break down this progression right now for you. Here we go. All right, so the little intro thing comes from the D major pentatonic. You could also call it the D major scale. But all the notes are from this kind of extension scale I have on guitarjams.com, but from the major pentatonic point of view. That's a D note. Right from this little box. So it's going to be middle finger on the 11th fret of the G, and then index on the 10th fret of the B, and you're going to go... Alternating, I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And it's kind of like an odd over even kind of rhythm. So I'm just adding my ring finger up a whole step to the 12th fret of the B string. And he kind of slides into it. And so this first chord looks kind of fancy, but it's, it's really not. It's like a D chord, but instead it's got that uh, second fret on the B in there instead of the third fret. And so you'd call this, if you strum it from the D string down, that's called a D major 7. To a G major chord. Pretty much this whole song I've been playing G major with ring finger, middle finger, and pinky. That's weird for some people. I would really recommend you practice that. But you can do regular G, this G, whatever works for you. But it's, so it's D major 7 to a G chord. So it's like... Next part. So the words are kind of on the G chord, so it's like. <laughs> so forth and so on. Next part. So it goes E minor to F sharp minor. So the F sharp minor, we're barring the second fret, and then the ring finger and pinky form what look like an E minor chord. Now, on the minor form of this E root bar chord, I take my middle finger and I press it up against the index fingers for more strength. This F sharp minor chord is the only bar chord you're going to need. So it goes E minor, F sharp minor, G. F sharp minor, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major, the top. You check it out again. Next part, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, F sharp minor, E minor, F sharp minor, G major. A major. Back to the top. Now, on that D major 7 chord, sometimes my thumb's kind of coming around. Just to mute, just to mute that low E, because it's pretty dirty with the low E in there. We don't want that, we want more of a... If you get the A in there, it's, a, it's not, not the end of the world. 
you don't want the low E in there. Okay? There's a bridge section. And it's pretty easy. It's G. Minor, F sharp minor, G major, F sharp minor, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major. So that will get you through the tune, and it's an awesome one. Singers, go play it. Add it to the list of covers you know. <laughs> anyway, I enjoyed doing that one. All right, that was it. Hope you had fun with it. It's always been one of my favorite tunes from the 80s. Uh, thanks for hanging out. More rhythm studies in that link down there. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll talk to you real soon. Take care.